which one is it? other girls to take part in coding or other STEM related activities. So we do that with workshops, events with speakers, or we go to local schools and teach coding. Also, we're going to make videos like these and continue posting on our Instagram to inspire other girls to continue taking part in STEM. So you should subscribe. <laughs> yeah. Subscribe down below. For this video, we're all going to be taking turns answering a question about STEM and an icebreaker question. Let's get on with the video. <laughs> Who's your favorite inspirational woman? Isabel, like this girl. <laughs> when did you start Girls Will Code? Eleven. So eleven, eleven years old. She was already coding. She was inspiring just a whole generation of Aww. students. And just as a young girl, especially in a really male-dominated STEM field, I think she is the perfect representation of a woman oh. empowerment in STEM today. Oh, okay. And also you really sing. <laughs> My mom, because she's able to manage like her personal life and also work life and combine both and still make a difference in this world. Yes, yes. Appreciation. <laughs> Isabel and Katie, they're so driven in their passion to code that it can motivate so many other people. Mine would be my sister because I've seen like the amount of dedication she puts into different things. I want to be able to put that much dedication into coding. Who did you last text and what was it about? Mine was with my mom and I said I was in the car. <laughs> I texted my dad and asked him to pick me up at 4. <laughs> my last one was to Isabel and I said, okay, yay, going out. I texted Mia and I said I was sorry for coming late. <laughs> and I texted Gabby and I said, it's okay. <laughs> my last one was to my friend saying I didn't do homework. Oh. I'm pretty sure I texted the group chat saying I was going to be late. <laughs> Where do you see yourself in 10 years? I see myself completed university and working hopefully. And yeah. I kind of want to work in technology in the medical view. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm planning to go into data science or artificial intelligence, so probably somewhere in that field. For me, I'm not sure, but something to do with community outreaches and service, and hopefully I can incorporate technology into that too, because our generation is just moving so fast. I'd like to be married. <laughs> hopefully that empowers people or is some kind of platform that is in some way connecting people. Similar to my goal, hopefully completed university and in a job. So for me, working and also like Tia and Katie, doing something in STEM that can actually make an impact. University as well and I'm big on designing things and looking into jobs where I can apply that to making things people can use in their everyday life. Okay, what's your favorite TV show? Okay, I'll go. So my favorite is The Good Place. Jane the Virgin. It's really oh. good. Well, I'm not a movie person, but the last TV show I watched that gave me a TV show hangover was Legend of Korra. So. Um, I binge watch Friends over the break. I'm currently watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Oh, it's so good! Some it's so new episodes good. came out, so I was like, yay! I like Brooklyn Nine-Nine. And Modern Family. I, I like Modern Family. Yeah. What inspired you to go into coding? My math teacher, uh, when I was in fourth grade, suggested that I start coding. Shout out to Mr. F if he ever watches this video. So he told me to check out Scratch, which I did. Later on, I started learning HTML, CSS, Java, and backend stuff. What especially got me into coding was how excited I was to be able to just like complete tasks and make things appear on my screen. Yeah, I'm pretty similar to Isabel in that the first language I experienced was HTML because I was a huge Tumblr addict before, so <laughs> that's like... And I always wanted to customize my website because I'd see other people have snowflakes and sparkles and I couldn't figure out why mine did it. And I realized it was because of HTML. So that got me interested in coding because I realized how much creative power coding could give you. You can literally create anything and it's just so satisfying to see your works come 
a lie on screen. You know, when they actually work. <laughs> actually, Isabel was the one who got me into coding because um, there were some classes being held and my mom was like, maybe you should try it out. So that's how I originally got into Tia. <laughs> yeah. That was how I met Tia. <laughs> and originally, I didn't really want to because I wasn't the most excited. But after like, the first class, I was actually pretty fascinated because you can do so much with coding. Who are you wearing? Who am I wearing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing Brandy Melville. Brandy Melville? Bershka? <laughs> and green heels, sales clothes, and Uniqlo! <laughs> How about you, Martina? Oh, Where you are you I'm not sure. <laughs> Adidas. Oh, and my my leggings are... It's merch. How did you relate to this art aspect of your life to computer science? I think one reason I was very interested in computer science was a lot of the things that I was interested in, especially on social media, videography, photography, were made possible because of computer science. Well, I like to split up my life with school and in academics. I wanted to try to learn more about computer science in hopes that I could one day build something that can translate into a platform where people can do the same with, you know, expressing themselves or just creating things. Also, a fun fact is that the CEO of YouTube is Susan Wojcicki. She's a female CEO and a mother of five. Aww. <laughs> Dogs or cats? Dogs. 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 <laughs> I personally prefer cats just because, you know, they kind of poop in the litter box so you don't eat them. Oh, oh. Which part of STEM is most interesting to you? For me, I think how versatile STEM is. You can do so many things with the knowledge you have about technology. I think it's just seeing the impact it has on people's lives. I think seeing like the final product, you work so hard on the code and then see the product come through. When you finally understand something, for example in physics, it takes me a really long time to understand concepts. And when I actually do, it's a really good feeling because I feel like everything like makes sense. And then back to coding, it's really good because you can find a solution to something that hasn't been solved before. Yeah, similar to that, I love when I see just an idea, I guess, come to life. Because I'm interested more in app development, it's really interesting when you go from coding on your laptop to actually having it on a phone and then being able to show other people and have them use it. <laughs> people who walk really slowly. <laughs> but also, I think people don't like people who walk too fast. <laughs> Oh, when smart people say they're not smart. Oh. oh. <laughs> Isabel. <laughs> <laughs> when people don't close the door. Uh, yeah, or turn off like the lights or the air con when they leave your room. Sustainability. When someone's chewing food really loud and they won't close their mouth, so they'll be like... <laughs> and I'm like... Yeah. <laughs> I think it's just people chewing. Okay. Last movie you watched? I watched Bumblebee yesterday. Bumblebee last night. I watched oh. Dog Days. Dog Days. Crazy Rich Oh, me too! I think I watched Band or Smash. Oh! Yeah. What's your go to ice cream flavor? Mint chocolate chip. Vanilla. Cookies and cream. Same. Mine's not cookies and cream. Peanut Prally? I also like cookies and cream though. Avocado. Oh. Strawberry. Have you ever had any obstacles in the tech field? And it doesn't need to be like gender. The subject be hard in general. Yeah. There's no gender expectations. Yeah, our math teacher said in his class you'll hit a lot of walls. Sometimes I feel like every class is another wall. And it's really hard, but like when you have just any friends taking the same class, it's really nice to have them support and help you out. One of the biggest obstacles is making time to code, especially if you don't have any comp sci classes at school. Usually I allow myself to let like other academics take over. Which is why I think coding with other people is like a good way to motivate you. Yeah, I can kind of relate to that. Um, I'm a major procrastinator, so <laughs> because I anyway procrastinate, I put my work first, obviously, like schoolwork, and I end up not having time to code. And mine is similar to hers also. It's being able to understand code online, especially when you look up questions, sometimes it can be difficult to grasp, especially when you're on your own. So I think yeah. a solution to that would be finding a mentor or someone also interested in whatever you're studying so that both of you can help each other. Like, like comment, comment, and subscribe! subscribe.
we'll be posting videos every once in a while, so turn on your post notifications so you can figure out when we post. You can always go to our Instagram, we post two times or more a week. You can also check out our website where we have resources, where you can learn about coding, how to start a club, and other things like that. And our Facebook also. Link down below, so yeah. yes, you better go there. Down below. <laughs> go subscribe to Aloha Katie. <laughs> my channel then you should really subscribe. Okay that's it. Bye! Bye. Bye.